I'm Evan. And I'm Allie. And we're here with our Disney Hall video. Disney World Hall. Disney World Hall. Important yeah. to specify. Yeah, because there's lots of Disney halls, I suppose. This is Disney World. So we spent two weeks at Disney, a week on our own, and then a week with our six-year-old. So I think we're going to do a separate kid haul video with our six-year-old, but for now we're going to show you all the stuff that we got. And I really liked watching haul videos before we went on our trip. It had been a few years since I'd gone before, so it was really cool to watch other people's videos and see um, what was new at the parks and what kind of things I needed to save my money for. And it was my first trip ever. I, I was deprived as a child. But now you've experienced it. Now I've experienced it. And my childhood is complete. Okay, so let's get started. What we got first? You go first. Okay, so one thing I saw on a ton of haul videos well, two things that I knew that I just like had to get when we went and then I would show Evan and say we have to get these when we go and he agreed. So you've probably seen them in a million uh, haul videos, but look at Cogsworth! Isn't he handsome? Mm -hmm. Look at him. And then of course if you buy Cogsworth, you have to get Lumiere. Lumiere. So Cogsworth really does work, for those of you who are wondering, and Lumi Lumiere lights up in the bottom. He's got a little switch and some batteries that go in him. But he doesn't just like light up. He does this soft, candly, flickery glow, which is super cool. We got these in Fantasyland at the Magic Kingdom um, in the Beauty and the Beast theme store. There are lots of places where you can get them. We saw them in Disney Springs. Um, I've heard that Cogsworth uh, tends, in particular, tends to sell out, but we had no problem getting it when we were there, so that was pretty exciting because I was a bit worried. Mm -hmm. Then, one of the first things we did was uh, Mickey's Philharmagic Orchestra. And when we came out of there, I don't know if you can hear me for this crinkling, when we came out of there, we got the Donald Duck Whistle. I think you should, like, open it. Open it right now? And do it. I've never tried it yet. An unboxing. Or an unbagging? Ooh, unbagging. The unbagging of the Donald Duck Whistle. Authentic original. Ages three and up. Disney Parks. It's got authentic original logo right there. Okay, I think you're doing it. They might want to know about yep. all this copyright stuff on the back of the bag. I don't think, I don't think they do. Isn't that part of uh, no. unboxing? Oh, I wouldn't know. I'm not a nerd. I'm having a little trouble getting in here. Oh, there we go. So we got the beak and the string wrapped all around here. Can we get that off? Maybe we need to get it off for it to work properly. Oh, you did it. That was easy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I got nothing. thought maybe it was like a kazoo. <laughs> oh, you got to blow really hard. <laughs> oh, okay. I, re I regret this. Okay. Great. So there's that. That's oh, a great... And there's there's a string so it can stay around your neck. Yeah. Great thing for you to get for like kids with parents... Like, you know, your nieces and nephews or something. Just know that what goes around comes around. But a really awesome noisy toy, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have, I'll show you my magic band that I got when we were there. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these before, but I will show you this one. No, we're not sure where Evans is. I can't find it. But we did the customized magic bands. There's a couple of places in the parks where you can do this. We did it in Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom. You can also do it at... Um, a, there's a store in Future World at Epcot and I'm not sure about Disney Springs something sticking in my head that maybe you can but anyway those two spots for sure so that's where we got these these ones Evan has a blue one that has the groom and mine has the bride because we were there on our Disney moon and then we got it personalized so yeah 
Very fun. Well, we're on the theme, well, I guess we jumped to bracelets, but while we're on the theme of characters, I got the goofy hat. <laughs> I wanted one of these for like 25 years. It was like the one thing before we went that he wanted so bad. Yeah. And he bought it on day one. Maybe I should wear this for the rest of the haul. I am to talk like Goofy. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about hats. I got this one. Uh, one day it was pretty hot out and needed something to cover my, my shave my face a bit. So I bought this one um, in Storybook Circus uh, in the big, the big top tent um, store in there. Um, and it's got a nice mesh back, so it kind of doesn't like doesn't get too hot. But anyway, I got this one. And I wore it to Cocoa Beach the day we went there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wear my hat throughout the rest of the video because it will ruin my hair. But it's a very nice hat. Okay, what do you have next? What do we have next? Ooh, an autograph book. Uh, yep. Classic, you have yep. to get an autograph book. Mm -hmm. So we got one and this uh, the matching pen that goes with it. And our pen died like once or twice, I can't remember, definitely once. But you just need to go into any store and ask them and they'll replace it for you, no problem. Just like, no questions asked, just gave us a brand new one, no issue. So that was pretty cool. We got lots of characters, um, autographs in our book. We did quite a few character, character dining, so we'll probably do a separate video on character dining at some point. So you can sort of hear um, our kind of reviews of that and what we thought, but in short, we love character dining. <clears throat> yes, it is expensive, but it is a really cool way um, to see a bunch of characters all at once and get some really good quality one-on-one -on -one time with them. So we really enjoyed that. We did some just the two of us and we did some with our son. While we were character dining, we did some, we got some souvenir cups. That's not the best one. So, <clears throat> at, I believe it was at a Curtius in Epcot, there's a button on the side, where we got this Little Mermaid, because that's my favorite, um, cup, um, and then we each got one, it's got like a little clippy on it, and it clips onto the straw if you want, um, and Evan has a buzz and I've got an aerial. So we got those guys. I'm just gonna to keep my just gonna keep going. At be our guest restaurant, we had to get that commemorative cup because I mean, really, how can you not? So we got that one. Very cute. Um, definitely better. Like it's good quality. Like it's an insulated, like kind of thicker plastic, um, with like a flippy top. You could just drink out of like that, or you could put a straw in. Um, so this was a pretty cool one too. Gorish. Then I got. A lens wipe to clean my camera and my glasses. Okay. <laughs> what? So I'm wondering if I can hold this up. No, I, I would actually just prefer that you didn't. But... Oh. Gorish. Well, if if that's how you feel. Party pooper. Um, oh. We got this, I think it was in Animal Kingdom or something. I'm trying to remember, but it was really hot. And I don't know if you needed to wipe your glasses or your lens on your camera. I don't know which. but it Maybe was, both. It could be both. And we just happened to see it like sticking on an end um, somewhere near, like just outside a store. It's perfect. It's got a little clippy on it. He just keeps it attached right to his camera. And then it just kind of sticks all up inside there. It's fantastic. It's the greatest little few bucks we've ever spent. I liked that one. It was very handy. It was handy. What do you got? Can um, we talk about some of my cars? Sure. What were these called? Disney Racers? I think so. I think. So we got a couple for Henry, our son, too. Um, but those two Evan got. So one's Goofy and one's Indy. Indiana yeah. Jones, which is pretty cool. It was fun to find that one. It's there wasn't very many shirt on the hood and the hat. Goofy's is like his nose and his hat. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. I enjoyed those. So a lot of you know who've been to Disney before that you can get buttons anywhere. It used to be that you would just get them up at the front, um, at the, but it's usually like one designated spot in each park. Um, now you can get them pretty much at any store. Not so much at like the kiosks that are kind of out, but like any store that you kind of walk in and go to, they have them behind the counter. They've changed them a bit over the years, but we did get our 
happily ever after button. Each Aww. of us got one of those. There's no, ooh, <laughs> there's no um, like engaged or wedding or anniversary ones anymore. Like this is their sort of catch all for all of them. Our friend Matt did give us one of the old school ones with Cinderella from that says like from a wedding one. He gave that to us, that which is pretty cool. Uh, but now if you go, you would get one of these. We also got a first visit button for Evan and we got one for Henry as well. And then you can get all kinds of stuff, but these ones they were just handing out. I think this particular one we got, it says I'm celebrating um, 17th of May. And I think that at um, I remember. Was Norway, Norway? Yeah. in Epcot, they were celebrating, which I'm assuming is sort of like their Independence Day. And so they were handing these out. So yeah, <clears throat> free. Then I was on a big... Okay, this hmm. drove me a little bit crazy. One. A little crazy. I was on a big Lego minifigure kick, but when we were there, all the minifigures were sold out. But they had these little collector packs of minifigures that are not Lego. They're just little minifigures. So I bought a whole bunch. You know, I picked through them looking for... Feeling the packages? Yeah, seeing if oh. I could guess what they were from the pictures on the back here. They're tiny. Like they're like yeah. I would say they're micro figures. Micro figures. There you go. But they're Disney Parks exclusive ones. Like I don't think you can get them anywhere Collectible mini else. characters. And it says on them Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So I don't think it's something that you can get. I've never seen them in stores or in a Disney store. So I've got some of Series 7, which are holiday themed. Christmas. Looks like there's some Easter in there. Thanksgiving maybe. Pretty tiny, it's hard to tell. And Halloween. Yeah, Halloween I'll open stage. these later in another video, but uh, we're just trying to move things along. Series 10. Looks like there were some Muppets in that one, so that's probably why I picked that. Series 16 was Toy Story. Some Series 5, which just looks like characters mixed in with park attractions, perhaps. And Series 11. Looks like there's a like, Goofy in there, maybe, so maybe that's why I picked that one for the possibility of getting Goofy. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, but whatever. Anyway, he had a lot of fun trying to pick them out and feel through and find which ones were which. Mm -hmm. um, okay, can we do jewelry? Jewelry? Okay. Okay. I don't really wear jewelry, but. Well, well my jewelry. I'll, I'll let you tackle this one. So a couple of things I really wanted. So one of them is a Pandora, um, a Disney Pandora. So maybe what we'll do is drop in some photos of this so that you can actually see it. I took it off my bracelet and just put it in the box to hopefully make it a bit easier, but it's still really hard to see on camera. Um, they have bajillions of them to choose from. It was really hard to pick. Um, I got this at the World of Disney store, but there's lots of other places that you can get them. Um, it, on this one, it's a silver one that has a, a black Mickey and Minnie on one side, and when you turn it over, it's got a Minnie, and when you roll it over again, it's got a Mickey, and they just have little red hearts around them, and it's very cute. And the other jewelry items I got, of course, I had to get some Alex and Annie bracelets. I couldn't not. Um, these are actually the first ones that I got, and then I've become a little bit addicted to them. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Anyway, I got three Disney ones while we were there. Um, this one is the Ariel one from last year. Again, probably hard to see on the camera, so we can drop in a photo maybe. Um, I bought this in the Magic Kingdom. And then I got two others in the Alex and Annie store at Disney Springs, which had just opened not long before we got there or sometime the week we were there. I can't remember. Anyway, it just opened. So I got the Hakuna Matata one in silver. All of them come in silver and gold. Um, this one was hard to track down. I actually looked for it in the parks and couldn't find it. So then when we went to the Alex and Annie store and they had it, I mean, it's like it's destiny. It's meant to be. I had to get it. And then also got this Star Wars I Love You, I Know one, which is a bit of a, a running thing with Evan and I. So it seemed fitting that I would get that one. I wanted yeah. something that said, you know, this, this is from the park. I guess we have lots of that stuff anyway, but this is the tram that takes you from the parking lot to Magic Kingdom. Well, What's any, the of, Magic Kingdom any of the parks. Oh. They all have trams. Any tram. of the parks. They all have trams. What about um, Hollywood Studios, or did we just park closer that day? I don't remember taking the we tram. We parked close that day because we went really early to sign up for Jedi training. Mm, that's right. But there is a tram for any, any Disney park. 
It's okay, honey. It's okay. Right, right, right. Um, either way, this is really cool. I thought that was really fun. That was and, my first trip. Yeah. And I thought these collectible mini characters will fit nice with the tram. Good oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll look good on the mantle. So we are not pin traders by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we did enjoy sort of looking at the different pins in different stores. There are so many of them for people who are pin traders. Holy geez. Um, but we saw these ones and on our first day and we had to get them because again, it's the Star Wars, I love you, I know, um, Princess Leia and Han Solo. Again, very tiny, probably can't see, but we had to get them and so we wore each wore one for our trip. Those ones we had to have to have. I also have some other little things. I'll just do them now. <clears throat> so we'll do some magnets. So we got this magnet at the World of Disney store. Um, I often will get a magnet or two on a trip. I like to just sort of collect them. This one spins around and it's got one of the each sort of park icons as you spin it. So it's got a, a, the Epcot ball, a castle, a tree of life, and the Tower of Terror since the hat at um, Hollywood Studios is gone now. So mostly like the Tower of Terror seems to be the iconic figure that they're using in most of their stuff for Hollywood Studios now. I also got a Mickey Waffle Magnet. It looks real. I want to eat it, but it won't taste very good. But anyway, we've got this. Um, I can't remember where, but they were everywhere. They also had like Mickey Bar ones, like the ice cream, and there was a ton of different ones. And then we got these in a little kiosk at Disney Springs. So we have a pug named Winston. Um, and so we saw these at this little kiosk and just had to have them. They're super cute. So this one says Pug Espresso coffee beans for a perfect Pugachino. Aww. Aww. And this one says Pug Tato chips. You can't have just one. Super cute. Anyway. And we also got, what is this, the transport bus? Mm -hmm. I don't think we actually rode on the bus, did we? We didn't, no. But it'll look nice parked beside the shuttle. <laughs> yes, the tram. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we stayed off property. Um, we might do a video about that. Let us know in the comments below if you'd want to see a video about you know staying on property versus off. I've done both. Um, we really liked staying off property, and so we didn't use Disney Transport so much. We had a rental car that we drove in, but the buses are everywhere, and so we had to get one because there's Goofy on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, so I sort of showed that, but I didn't didn't talk about it. So there's Goofy on one side, Mickey on the other, and uh, Goofy's waving goodbye. Mickey appears to be driving. Um, we also got uh, one of the Thomas Kincaid puzzles. This one is the Beauty and the Beast one. We had a hard time picking which one to get, eh? Yeah. Um, we really liked a few of them. Um, there was, but we didn't, we, like, if we bought a bunch of them, we would just never do them. In fact, we haven't even completed this one. There's still a bunch of pieces in the box, and my puzzle mat's all rolled up because we just gave up and got frustrated. But we will do it one day. One and it will day be finished, and it will be spectacular. It. Yes. Um, but we really loved this, um, the Thomas Kincaid artwork. You could get it in the art store in uh, Disney Springs as well. Like, they had um, canvases that were ranged around $99 or so. Um, and if money was no object, we probably would have bought one of each because we just really liked the artwork and thought it was really pretty. But, whoops. So instead, <laughs> good segue, uh, we got this. So we knew we wanted to get some type of artwork for a home to commemorate our trip. So we bought this. This is also a Thomas Kincaid print, um, but not one of the kind of canvas wrapped uh, story ones. This one is just a beautiful one of the castle in Main Street. So we need to get it framed still. Um, it's a kind of an odd shape, so we couldn't find a frame for it. So we need to get it custom framed. And then we'll display it on our home, in our home, well, not on our home. No, that doesn't make sense. But in our home, we will. Well, so We could put it on our home, well, but probably last longer if we keep it inside. Yeah. Um, and this one being a print was, uh, was what, $50 or so cheaper than, oh, the price is right on it, <laughs> $39.95. So the print was uh, cheaper than, than getting the, uh, the canvas. And we asked about if uh, any of the others, uh, other, I don't want to say pictures. Any but of the designs that were like the movie themed designs, like the Beauty and the Beast one that's in the puzzle and stuff. Yeah, if they were available in, uh, this in any of the prints. And um, no, they said uh, they're hard to come by. And when they, when they do get any in, that they usually sell it pretty quick. 
So they recommended that if we wanted this one to not set it down and just buy it. So we did. <laughs> Oh, we thought the artwork was a really nice way to commemorate the trip. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. there is a lot of affordable options in there if you um, are a little bit intimidated by going to the store. Yes, there are some very expensive pieces. Absolutely beautiful, one-of-a-kind stuff. Um, but there's also lots of prints that you can pick up that are um, just on their own or pre-matted like that for pretty affordable. And I think they had, um, similar to when you're building your, um, your magic band, there is a computer screen where you could select prints. If uh, you didn't see what you wanted on the wall. You or you could wanted a certain size. Yeah, and you could search by, like, character. And they had quite a few options in there. And I'm not sure how long it would take. It sounded like you would then ship it home, from yeah. what I could gather. We could just kind of flip through it for a few minutes. Yeah, it sounded like they would print them out later on and then mail them to you, as opposed to, you know, print on demand. But, but that's a good option, too, if you're flying. Because for us, flying home with some of this stuff was a bit of a problem. A little tricky. Um, so that's also a good option, too. Um, oh, let's do these. <clears throat> okay. So something that I had seen in haul videos that I really wanted was the Starbucks You Are Here collection. However, <laughs> upon really giving this some consideration and realizing, again, the flying home, opted not to get the full-size mugs because that was just going to be a nightmare to bring four because we had other stuff and we got other mugs because we had a bit of a problem with mugs. Um, so I got the little ones. <clears throat> so in each part, for those of you who don't know, there is a Starbucks. Now, mind you, they are cleverly disguised Starbucks. They're not always the most obvious. This one is the Epcot one. Um, if you can see, all done in um, purples and blues. This one is the Magic Kingdom one. You can see Space Mountain and the castle. And what's on this side? Oh, Haunted Mansion, and it looks like a little pirate ship for Pirates of the Caribbean, done in like blues and yellows. Hollywood Studios one has the Tower, um, Tower of Terror, and the Water Tower, and just some other little stuff from the streets, palm trees, super cute, and the um, Animal Kingdom one, which of course has the Tree of Life, and the Expedition Everest Mountain, and some animals on it. So, um, yes, each park has a Starbucks, but they're usually kind of called something else, some type of bakery cafe, and then there'll be like a teeny tiny little Starbucks symbol stuck in a window or up on top in a corner. They're really, they're not the most obvious, um, but we track the, them all down. Yeah, I think the most obvious one was at Epcot. Yes. Did it actually say Starbucks, but it looked very futuristic. Starbucks of the future, because yeah, it was in future world. I was world. just going to say that. It was in Future World. Starbucks of the future. So the, the Magic Kingdom one is on Main Street as you're walking in about halfway up on the left-hand side. <clears throat> the Animal Kingdom one was uh, we were walking towards Africa from the main gate, going around sort of like left of the Tree of Life. We found it there. And I don't remember where the Hollywood Studios one. Somewhere on that Main Street as you walk in, I feel like it was on the right-hand side. Um, but yeah, we found them all, and they're pretty cool. Really neat little keepsake. And at the Epcot one... I was wearing my Goofy hat there. And I was talking like Goofy. And the lady in the line thought I should order like that. One of them grandy coffee things. Yeah, Evan but, doesn't speak Starbucks. It's yeah. a bit of a relationship issue. We're, we're working on it. Um, so I usually have to order for him. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, it all worked out. <laughs> A lot of people use these as ornaments for their trees. They're really, they're technically little espresso cups for any um, Starbucks aficionado or, or coffee aficionado, I guess. Um, but they all have a little string and most people use them as ornaments for their tree. We don't actually. I just keep them all in my cabinet, my china cabinet um, year round because I just love them so much and don't want to only have them out at Christmas time. What do we do with the golden books? Are they on the shelf? Yeah. Well, go get those. I'll do something else when you do that. Oh, yep. Um, so we were talking about mugs, because, like I said, we have a bit of a problem. Um, so, here are a few that we got, these three that we got on this trip. Again, we had to limit it because we were flying. So this one is from the Hollywood Tower of Terror. <clears throat> Super fine. You can see Donald and Goofy and Mickey, who are uh, riding the Tower of Terror and Terrify, which is pretty much how Henry and I looked while we were riding this ride. I'm not so sure about Evan. I think he liked it, but... Um, Henry was pretty scared uh, when we got off the ride we said to him what do you think did you like that and he was like nope never again 
didn't cry, but was just like not interested in that again. It dropped a lot more times than I remember it dropping. Like I seem to only think it was like once or twice, but it just kept going. And anyway, lots of fun, but this is some really cool merchandise from that ride. So we thought that was a fun one. We also have this Kermit the Frog one, which again, we could not pass up along uh, with Evan's other talents and his goofy voice. He also does a pretty good Kermit voice. Oh, you are too kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay! So we had to get this one on the back. It might be hard to see, but in a really light green, it has a Kermit the Frog signature on it. Super cute. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy drinking from that mug. And then we had to get the chip mug. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this in other haul videos as well, or maybe you have one yourself. Super fun. Again, something that often sells out as we understood it, but we were able to find him. Um, again, I think we got him in the Beauty and the Beast store in Magic Kingdom, but then we did. So. We got another one for your mom later in Disney Springs. Like I think we were able to find them without too much issue. It does have a little chip in it. Super cute. Um, he's adorable. The chip is painted over so you don't actually cut your mouth when you're no. when you're drinking. It's, it's very handy that way. 